everyone, how are you today? Lucia here from Laughing Without an Accent. Hope you're doing amazing. On this channel, I do subscription box unboxings. So if you're into that, I'd love to have you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Join me on Thursdays, Pacific Center Time for our live streams. We have fun. We have a special guest and we have giveaways. So hope you can join us and next time. Today, I have a brand new subscription to our channel. And this is, sorry, I kind of like start opening it just to have it easy. This is Keen Stride. And this is a bi-monthly subscription box. I'm going to read you some information about it because um, there was a lot of cool info. Every, every, it's a bi-monthly subscription box. So every other month you receive a curated selection of five, four to five tools and products to spark curiosity, encourage lifelong learning, and inspire you through your personal growth journey. Um, they draw inspiration from psychological, ugh, psychological research. And with this, we have fun too. The uh, February, March box is called Perfectly Imperfect. It's all about embracing imperfections in ourselves, in others, and in our life circumstances very appropriate for this time being it's about learning to accept and appreciate our flaws our scars our story and to accept and love ourselves completely love that it is 67.95 per box and it is bi-monthly so it's about 35 per month and you get an empowering book thought-provoking exercise diy kit to learn something new an artisan or gourmet food product to nurture your curiosity and try something different and a high quality lifestyle item to practice healthy self-love says a subscription to inspire women to make the most out of their me time and be kinder to themselves so that is super cool let's open it up and check and if i have a code i will leave it below as well unless they put it here on this card oh my gosh this girl has mina or just mina i think it's has mina i think her last name is uh, hispanic i'll ask her um she sent this card and her handwriting is absolutely beautiful i wish i had this handwriting oh my gosh um so it says dear lucia welcome to king stride we are a small tiny business in Dallas, Texas, with a mission to inspire women to be kinder to themselves and those around them and make the most out of their me time. My two-year-old son, who was born with dwarf dwarfism, has been my inspiration to start keen stride and become more compassionate. Oh, so she has a, a kid that has dwarf dwarfism. It's like basically there was a, he's a dwarf and then sometimes they need a lot of surgeries to correct their legs uh, so they're able to walk. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you love your box. Thanks for sharing your unboxing and review with your followers in social media. I hope some of them join us too. Um, please let me know if you need help with anything. We are here for you. Best Hasmina Uriola. So, oh, And we have this box here. Looks beautiful. Let's see what we got. Perfectly imperfect. Imperfections are not inadequacies. They are reminders that we're all in this together. Brene Brown. There is a card here by Hasmina and the Keen Stride um, team. And there's all the items. I don't want to spoil them myself for myself or for anyone. So let's just get into them. What is this? Ooh, these are Lulu Loon brushes. There's seven face mask sheets in here. So there's a resealable package and you have seven of those you guys that is a lot that's just one that is awesome okay oh my gosh and i just want to show you too how everything inside is packaged individually some of the items at least so just want to show it you know because it's a nice detail look at that okay so i opened it up and we have a baggie here and there's a paper that says kintsugi is a japanese art of repairing broken porcelain with gold so let's see we might have a diy project oh there's a ton of stuff here so we have lots of info and instructions we got some something wrapped in foil no i guess that's part of it it should be like this oh my gosh this is really well thought out we have brushes a little spatula thingy or a, it's a kind of like a stirrer we got some epoxy we got some what's here Glo gloves maybe what is this i love all this stuff we have a little um cloth or like a little napkin it looks like canvas bag i'm saying a little for everything <laughs> 
No, it is not. Everything's packaged in little baggies. And we have some gold powder. It looks like gold powder and something else. So I'm going to have to read about this and give you a, give me a second because I want to make sure that I give you all the ins and outs of this. Okay, so it doesn't say much on the product card, but I'm sure it, there's a lot in the instructions. So this is the Japanese art of repairing broken pottery with gold. And it says, it teaches us that the broken, difficult, and painful parts of our lives make us stronger and better than ever ever better than ever before i love that so okay i'm sure that there is like a whole process we don't have a pottery piece but maybe there's something that you can do that you do on the napkin or something like that but i love that they put all the materials here so i'm excited i might have to make it first and then share it on instagram so you guys can see how it turned out okay so next up we have an amai matcha and this is by fire pot nomadic teas and this is a matcha powder. I'm so excited. I love matcha and I actually just ran out of mine. So I'm excited to try this one. And let me read here. It says, treat yourself to a creamy matcha latte with fire pot amai matcha tea. It's a sweet matcha, which is awesome. And I love matcha lattes. Great place to start for any matcha newbies who want to reap the health benefits of green tea. Okay, so let me open it. Just gonna see. It's sealed in this little tape, so. Okay, let's see. Ya. Ooh. Oh, it smells delicious. It smells kind of like the Starbucks one or the one that I buy on Amazon. It's kind of like sweet. I love it. And you just kind of, you know, like put it with some milk and ice. Love that. That is exciting. And then we have here something else. A yuzu marmalade. Look how big this is. This is take a trip to southern Japan. No plane ticket required to, and try something different. With Yakami Orker's yuzu marmalade. Made from rare Japanese yuzu citrus. It's a must try for breakfast. Add it to your tea in mocktails. To fancy up a cheese board and much more. This definitely sounds amazing. So it has yuzu, sugar, and honey, and yeah, kind of like a citrus. I'm so excited to try this one for cheese boards. Oh, with crackers. Sounds so good with a spreadable cheese. There was a box, Grazing Goddess, that has such a yummy, uh, kind of like a cheese, ghost cheese, and with um, marmalade on top was delicious. So I'm going to have to get some, some of that cheese because, yeah. Something else wrapped in Guys, here. this was wrapped a hundred times over and a hundred times more. This is a uh, bowl. And I think this is where we're going to do the gold repairing kind of thing. So I don't think we're meant to break it. But I actually really like this bowl uh, to use for eating. And I think it's going to be fun to do something about it and something with it. So that was really cute. Um, and I don't know if this... Yeah, this was wrapped really well. So I don't know if it's any... Yeah, it's just in the in the card is described as part of the King Sugi kit. And next, last but not least, we have the book and it's called Happier Now. This is how to stop chasing perfection and embrace everyday moments, even the difficult ones by Natalie Kogan. So that sounds really good. I mean, I haven't read it, but it sounds like something that we all tend to do or a lot of us tend to do of like chasing perfection, especially with social media and how some influencers and some people seem to have everything perfect and we seem like we're never going to get to that level or I don't know how do they do it and it's like very frustrating and it kind of tears us down a little bit and I just really like the premise of this book. Um, it says, do you find yourself stuck in the I'll be happy when trap believing that achievements or big life changes are what will bring you lasting happiness. I remember that when I was, um, when I was trying for a baby, uh, and it was taking us a little bit longer than we expected with William, it was all like, Oh, I'll be happy when I have a baby and I'll be happy when, and in a way you looking back, you're like, why didn't I enjoy? And I enjoyed it in my way, you know, before we started trying, we were married for three years. Um, but I remember then now that I have three kids, sometimes I'm like, man, I miss those days where it was quiet and <laughs> nobody needed me. And uh, I feel like you do have to embrace every moment of your life because when you when it's gone, you will miss it. So it's hard to look back and say, I didn't enjoy it. Like when 
William or Wesley when they were little babies it was such a beautiful time but at the same time it could be stressful because you're trying to keep the baby alive and you're worried you know about a bunch of things and sometimes I look back and I'm like why didn't you just sit there and enjoy my babies and I did I did but at the same time I'm always like telling me like I don't know it's almost like I'm like did I do it enough because it goes by so fast and sometimes you're like I want them to be babies again and if, there, if you go back in time, I would just sit there and let everything go to, you know, like the house. I wouldn't care about anything else, which is cuddling my kids. But in that time, you're like, you have to keep everything together. You know, you have other kids too and stuff like that. So this kind of hits close to home about that. Um, in Happier Now, nationally recognized emotional health expert Natalie Kogan shares her lifelong struggle of searching for the elusive big happy and how she finally made the essential mindset shifts that allowed her to live with more self-compassion, joy and meaning. Um, Natalie redefines happiness as a skill that anyone can cultivate. She shares the, a wealth of simple science-backed practices, practices used successfully by more than a million people. So you can experience more joy in ordinary moments and greater resilience when times are tough. So this sounds really good. Sounds like something that we, there's something in here. Um, oh, there's some audio programs. Um, let me see the, uh, the chapters. Sounds like something that could have been awesome to read right when the pandemic started. <laughs> but it's never late. It's never late to learn these kind of things to be happy. Like what they say, happiness is the journey, not the destination. Um, so there are a lot of chapters, so I won't, I won't read all of them, but it sounds really good. Sounds good. Love the upbeat, happy cover. Kind of just my $10 t-shirt from Ross. So let's do a little recap with this box that sounds really good, full of things. Um, so we have a book. This book should be good to read in two months. So that's good that it's a bi-monthly box because uh, you have enough time to read it. Then we got a marmalade from Japan. I think this is a really fun item. Um, I don't know if they got it from there, but it's big. And if they did, it's just, you know, it's nice to get something so exclusive. It's not something that they just got really easily i would think you know it's like unique and we have matcha too which is japanese i feel like there's a little bit of that oh because they did the japanese art of repairing broken poetry so they kind of like tied everything with a little bit of japanese culture which i like we have the matcha we have the bowl with all the items that you need to make this project we have the canvas bag and the napkin and brushes uh epoxy a ton of stuff in this baggie so that's a fun project and then we have seven sheet masks so that was everything then again this is bi-monthly it is 69 so it's a little bit on the high price for a bi-monthly box for what you get but i feel like there's a lot to take from the box uh i feel like these two items are probably international so they have a like a good value and the book and the project also was you know very well thought out they give you all the steps and everything that you need so i think that's a really good value in there and we have this self-care the mask that you get seven not one like some other boxes do um so the you know the box is of the higher price so i'm sure that including seven boxes seven sheet masks is you know appropriate so I think it's really really good um what do you guys think let me know down in the comments this is different it's definitely something that you don't see very much it's a new concept and if you're looking for something like that i think you should definitely try this out and if i have a code i will leave it below so you can save some money as well let me know what you guys think in the comments below uh, this was sent to me for review as well so thank you so much and i'm glad to know more about the owner and how she has a two-year-old with some health problems. I, I do also have a seven-year-old with autism. And my two-year-old boy has albinism. So he has no pigment in his eyes, hair, or skin. And that brings uh, vision problems that he's going to have all his life. So he won't be able to drive, I don't think, ever. Unless eventually they come up with really, really smart cars. Or really, really smart glasses or something. Um, they were telling me that they were thinking of... They're like experimenting with retina. No, was it retina? No iris transplant um i don't know if that will help him because his problem is from the macula and the macula is inside the eye so i don't know basically they don't filter the sun that much they don't filter the sun at all so all the sun got, gets in their eyes and they have um nystagmus his eye moves back and forth which that could be fixed by surgery and then he has he's nearsighted so he can't see far is that what it means i'm always confused about that 
but um but yeah so i this hits kind of close to home because of that because she's the mom of a special needs kid physically not mentally in that way because um yeah yeah it's a more of a physical um limitation but you know that doesn't mean that we can go places and that's all right we're always going to tell our kids i'm sure she does too that you know we're going to conquer our limitations and a lot of people that have more limitations that people that don't have them achieve greater things you know because we take a lot of things for granted so anyway rumble over let's get back to what we do which is unboxings let me know what you guys think uh, again check the code down below if i have one and thank you so much for joining me on another video hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you on my next one bye guys